So I've been using this, the Audacity um, Wild Carrot Serum Concentrate. And I love, the first time I opened this, I was like, oh my god. Because it's like black, almost. Um, it's just Wild Carrot Essential Oil and Vitamin E. I mean, it's got like a really dark green vibe to it. But this is designed for Vital Glow, which is, you know, you caught me, nail on the head. I've been using it with regular serums, you know, like milky or gel serums. I've been using it with oil serums. I've been mixing it with oil. I've been mixing it with moisturizer. Um, my favorite has been mixing it with the African Botanics Neroli and uh, Marula. Ooh, serious glow, serious balance. Um, I mean, you can even see just like right on my hand, just like how much glow that just gave. And it's a very like healthy, 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 like Yes, I do yoga five times a day, and I have the perfect diet, and I didn't just order a pizza and eat it all to myself last night. Disciple. All right. So, first of all, any brand name Disciple, sign me up, right? Um, packaging, gorgeous. I'm pleasantly surprised. I went in with pretty much no sort of preconceived notions or whatever, except for the fact that, like, with a name like Disciple, it's gotta be good. I love them so much. So Good Skin is um, cucumber seed oil, turmeric oil, rosemary oil, geranium oil, lavender oil, tea tree oil, burdock root extract, and extra virgin olive oil. So it's actually quite thin. It's it's very um, it's very oil serumy, and that's personally how I you know just on damp skin I'll massage a little bit of this in. It's a very herbal herbal herbal. You can definitely smell the tea tree. Um, from it, but it's just been amazing at giving a very clean healthy daytime glow um, It's been quite warm the past. Well, it's actually been cool the past couple days But the last couple of weeks has been really hot in New York So um, on days where I just want to use an oil serum, but I'm just you know I was just working on the blog or whatever. I would just massage it in and Really amazing. I've worn it when I've gone out and about too and uh, for daytime It's always nice, right? And then the dreamy skin is a retinoid oil with um retinol palmitate and the nice thing about retinol palmitate is it um, it's actually found in the skin naturally but it's more of like a surface thing because of the um, the palm element to it it sort of can't get in as deep one of the hydroxy pinnaclone retinoate you know something like that that's really intended to get in there so if I just want to kind of strengthen my skin but I'm targeting something else with my serum. So what I've actually been doing is I put this on sort of at the end as more of a facial oil. And that's because I want that retinal palmitate to really kind of go in at the end and just sort of absorb into the surface of the skin and kind of rebuild it from there and kind of strengthen it and replenish it from there. So I mean, I could be using like something like the pore purifier or you know something that's intended to like a potent vitamin C. Sometimes I use vitamin C at night. But if I just want to kind of replenish the surface, this is what I use. Um, it's rosehip, watermelon, retinol palmitate, blue chamomile, frankincense, jojoba, jasmine, burdock root, burdock root extract, and extra virgin olive oil. Um, this one has more um, color depth to it. It's a little bit orangier, as rosehip can tend to. Um, smells like chamomile. So yeah, I mean, retinol palmitate, it's not the strongest retinoid that you can get, but it is still going to replenish the skin. And, you know, as we're all kind of finding out, a mild retinoid introduced into the skin on a frequent basis is better than shocking your system with a strong one every couple days because you want to constantly stimulate the fibroblast cells so it's like I'm all for mild these days you know um, okay oils so when I met with Charlotte and Arabella of Votary I think it was at the end of May it was right before I went home uh, which I didn't get to talk about because I filmed the video before I went I think so they were kind enough to give me with the, the facial oils, and I took the Neroli and um, Myrrh to Texas. Loved it, super balancing, really nice for um, day and night, and it's the one that I think to date I've used the most of. As soon as I get home, I just sort of set them out and just sort of reached for a different one every day. And so for almost the entire month of June, a votary oil saw my skin, came in contact with my skin once a day at least. So I really got time to play with them and experiment and see which ones I liked the most. And I say this with complete honesty. Obviously, you know, I'm a big Votary fan, but I like all of them. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> I, you know me, I was never one for moderation. The thing that's nice is 
they've successfully made three different facial oils. So first of all, the bottle, the, the bottle design and the packaging design is genius. Um, all you do is twist off the cap and then you pour it over but you don't shake. Um, the little straw, I don't know what it's called, um, is quite short and it cuts off sort of right here. So you have to turn it upside down for the product to come out. But the nice thing is you'll be able to get all of it out because you know, it's not like the dropper can't reach to the very bottom of the bottle and you've got a lot left and you have to start pouring things out. Um, but just make sure you don't shake it because then you'll introduce air into it. Um, and it does dispense the product quite easily and you see how many drops are coming out. So you know exactly how many drops you're using so you can find what works for you. Um, okay, so I, I grabbed the boxes though because if I have to be critical at all, I wish there was something on the back of the bottle that sort of said what the formula was intended to do. You know, for me, the, the, the challenge that I've had from time to time is sort of just figuring out which one I want to use that day based on what it's intended to do. And um, I had to keep the boxes around to read the description, to, you know, obviously looking at the ingredients and checking out that sort of thing. But um, the Jasmine and Calendula is for um, when your skin is sensitive and stressed out. Rose Maroc and Sandalwood, which is what I have on today, says it's for changing seasons and poor air quality for if your skin is dehydrated and dull. Um, me, uh, which is what I used, to, why I used it today. And then the Norelian Myrrh is when your skin is misbehaving or oily in patches. So, so yeah, I really, I like all three. I mean, if you wanted to get all three, you, I mean, you've got pretty much a, a complete set of oils here that, you know, will do a lot of different things for you and will address most concerns that you have. But, I think it is worth investing in at least one because I think they did a really good job, to be very honest. I mean, they feel um, targeted and thoughtful, but they also feel like they're just kind of nourishing and, and moisturizing the skin thoroughly. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with them and, um, I'm, and I look forward to continuing to use them. I like them a lot. So Henny sent a really cute box um, with a couple products to try. And um, my favorites have been, obviously they're known for like their lip scrubs. They also sent the Nordic Berries, which is really nice if you like a tint, if you like a little berry stained tint. So you could kind of do a scrub in the morning and it would leave a little bit of color behind, throw a lip balm on top, you've got a lip. I've been using the Lavender and Mint more though because I find it actually makes my lips look a little bigger afterwards. It could be that that's the mint stimulating or whatever, but um, they're really nice lip scrubs and lip care especially lip scrubs and like lip exfoliation was never something I thought about and to be honest it's I've had to put these out in the open so I can remember to use them because I just don't think about it um, but this makes like exfoliating my lips like something that I like doing and like it's fun and like so the lavender mint really nice plumping slightly um, invigorating and um, any if I have a gripe they it's not labeled anywhere what flavor this is so I get this and the Nordic berries mixed up because it, it literally just doesn't say anywhere which kind it is so um, I've had to sort of I might make stickers or something but um, yeah lavender mint mm, that's where it's at and then the luxury lip balm which I would call this like an oily buttery balm it doesn't feel like a you know like a chapstick or anything like that it definitely feels more like you're putting like a buttery consistency on your lips, but um, it smells like cocoa butter, amazing cocoa butter, and it's moisturizing. That's all you can ask for, right? Uh, Pharmacy Honey Drop, love her. So this consistency I, I like to describe as a, uh, a water butter, and that's the only way I've been able to kind of explain it, because it's not a gel, it's not really a cream, I mean, like, it kind of is, but um, it has like a lot of it's a very kind of low viscosity kind of water butter. So when you massage it, it turns, it feels like there's water and butter. It's, it's, um, it's actually very thin. It's thinner than actually a lot of gels that I've ever used. And if I'm being very, very honest, it's, I used it, um, the first time I tried it, I just put it on clean skin, nothing else. It was not enough hydration for my skin. I had to put, um, you know, add like a hydrating cream on top or like a, you know, in an oil and a hydrating cream. So um, I really do think that if you've got quite oily skin and you're not like dying in the moisture department like I am, it could be really nice. Um, but for me, I have to kind of pair a lot of other moisturizing products with it in order to get, 
you know, maximum hydration out of it. But um, the consistency is very, very, th like, at least feel it um, if you've got an oilier skin, um, because I think you would really like it. It's, it's a water butter. <laughs> um, and the thing, and I always appreciate this about pharmacy, is when they say they're going to give you an ingredient, they do. If you haven't seen it yet, I did a blog post on the little pharmacy field trip that I took with uh, a bunch of cool people up to the farm, and there's lots of pictures. It was amazing. I still think about it. I still have like dreams about it because it was such a great day, and it was so much love and so much knowledge and so much just like, it's like, God damn it, I believe in them, you know? Um, and fifth ingredients, echinacea root extract. Then, and I'm just going to read this in order, honey extract, propolis extract, royal jelly extract, hydrolyzed hyaluronic, hydrolyzed sodium hyaluronate, sodium hyaluronate, uh, the uh, kupuasu seed butter, I believe, meadow foam seed oil, um, camellia japonica seed oil, I could continue. But, so the thing about pharmacy is when they say they're going to give you an ingredient, they come through. So, body. So, votary body oils, love. I mean, for goodness sake, just look at them. Like, ugh made a bit of a dent in the uh, the hydrating body oil, which is bergamot and mandarin, and that is damn well what it smells like. It's got that, like, the bitterness, the slight bitterness of bergamot. Mm, but, like, the citrus brightness of tangerine. It's the perfect summer body oil. It enlivening, the, it makes your legs and your arms and your just your entire body look really, really glowy, um, really nicely moisturizing like I feel like when you massage it into damp skin it absorbs the way it should and leaves behind this silky softness that tends to hi ideally happen right with body oils um, the body treatment oil I have there's salicylic but it's it's an oil with salicylic so you know I'm typically quite resistant to that because I just you know you need pH in order to have salicylic be effective but you know a lot of people find that UFO works for them so it's like it's hard to say so um, I have been using this in certain areas um, and I do like it but I think between the two the hydrating body oil is the one that I, I reach for more um, but perhaps the body treatment oil will be nice for winter so we'll have to wait and see I guess next we've got nasty hands so 100% of net proceeds will be donated to um, NARAL pro-choice America um, Hetrick Martin Institute and ACLU and this is a collaboration of 10 women let me just read the tube to you roll up your sleeves and get down to business here's a hand cream to keep you smooth and supple for all the sign carrying glass ceiling shattering and opinion piece panning you might do in a day suitable for all skin types ideal for resistant hands um, it's a great hand cream it smells amazing it's very like um, I say this lovingly but like grandma in the sense that it's familiar and it's very nice it's very like not offensive yeah it has like a slight floral just like it smells like a really good hand cream um, and all of the monies of the net proceeds are going to are fighting back in our current political atmosphere so all for it huge fan um, great product great cause thank you to the ritualist for sending this over you know I love my Coda Lee and I always will but this one's also smaller so it's better for handbags Interesting. Okay, um, I went on an Aesop spree at Cult Beauty because the Reverence Aromatique hand wash that I used, which literally took me almost a year to finish a bottle, by the way, um, ran out. So I got the Resurrection, which doesn't have the scrubby bits in it. Scent is really nice, but I miss the scrubby bits from time to time. Anyway, I picked up um, the Coriander Seed Body Cleanser, and it's amazing. Um, it is invigorating, it is warming, it is herbaceous it is um, like it vibrates essentially um, and it has such a nice um, moisturizing feel like it feels like you're rubbing a cleanser that has a lot of oil in it because it really feels like it's moisturizing as you're massaging it um, I'm a hypocrite because there's sodium laureth sulfate methyl isothiazolanine and methyl chlorosothiazolanine three ingredients that I say I stay far away from but here we are it's a great product and um, Way Wave Spray. I love this to pieces. The first time I used it, I thought it was disgusting, but it's because I used it wrong. Um, since then, obviously, I've made a dent. I love the smell. I love the way smell. It smells very, like, um, it could be a Dior fragrance. I'll just, to me, at least. Um, but I tend to wait till my hair is 75% dry, 
I lift my hair up, spray it underneath, and spray it kind of far away so there's just a very fine mist that just sort of collects kind of underneath. I tend to navigate it towards the roots though. And then I sort of let it fall, shake it out, or I'll wait till it all sets, flip my head over, shake it out, brush it out, and then flip it back. And that's what gives me disco hair, which I did not do today because I'm trying new hair products, but for the past two months, essentially, this is what I've been using um, in my hair and I've been loving it. And um, they say you can use it on dry hair. I find it just as better on damp hair, um, but it gives con a texture, it gives hold, it gives a little volume and shape, um, but it doesn't get crunchy or like, um, the nozzle doesn't get clogged, which is really nice. Um, and I'm just a fan. Good job, Way. I wanna like Way, you know? Last but not least, Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. Now last, the last video I was talking about um, the Clay de Poe Concealer, the sample that I had, and I really like it, although the color's now too light for me, now that I got some sun. I'm okay with not picking up the full size, even though I loved that two pieces, because I rediscovered this. And this was a Lisa Eldridge product that she recommended years ago. This is pretty much all that I've been using, period, for a concealer, for underneath my eyes, because I don't really wear foundation anymore. I mean, I am today, because I'm filming, but most days it's under eye concealer, done. I don't care enough to put anything else on my face. This has been amazing. I use a lot of product on my face, right? I use a lot of serums and moisturizers and oils and eye creams and etc. So for me, the, that extra amount of like slip and moisture that's on my skin means that this has never looked dry or waxy or, or heavy on my skin the way it could theoretically go, right? So for me, it's been amazing because I just take um, this, which is the Hourglass number eight, it's the only brush I've been using because it's big and it gets it done quickly. I pick up most of this and then a little bit of this and that goes to kind of correct the darkness and then I go in with the lighter shade and just sort of put it on the inner corners and kind of highlight those areas. So for me, I'm able to sort of correct and kind of contour slash highlight, but it's concealing with this in one product, which has been amazing because I do need to kind of correct and I do need to brighten all in one and this does it. Yeah, literally it's every morning, it's just with this brush, done. So I'm good for the, the Clay de Poe is amazing and I'm sure I will get it one day. Um, Maybe it'll be more of something that I use in the winter, I don't know. But all I can say is that this is, you know, if all my other concealers disappeared right now, I would be sad, but I would be fine because this is all I've been using anyway, if that makes sense. So that's it. <laughs> all 8,000 products and, and I'm long-winded. So hopefully you enjoyed both parts of this and um, thank you guys for being patient. Uh, well, th those of you who have been patient, thank you. <laughs> Let's not even go to the other people. But um, yeah, it's been a crazy month. I'm hopefully gonna be getting back in the swing of things. Um, all it takes is just sort of starting and it takes one post to just get back into it, you know? So yeah, if you haven't seen the website yet, please check it out. It, I put a lot of heart and soul and hard work into it and I'd love for you to check it out and just hang out. The, my vision was just to make a website that I would have been obsessed with when I was like eight years old and could just spend the entire afternoon exploring and digging through and finding little things and seeing like what this button does and what that link will do. Um, obviously that's just me, but there's lots to see and um, hopefully you enjoy hanging out there. Um, and yeah, I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.